How can anyone sleep here? How can you sit there so calm in this garbage heap? It's enough to make one sick. You know what? As soon as we get to our destination, I'm going to shed these lousy clothes, find me a huge bed, and put myself right in it. Then perhaps some manicure, some exotic perfume, and a box of dark chocolates. Then maybe I'll rest a little. <laughs> yeah, I know. All we're going to find there is more shit. girl with a body like yours, if she has a head on her shoulders too, can get whatever she wants in the camp. The other prisoners will line up just to kiss your hand. All you have to know is whose bed to get into. Don't worry, I'll watch over you. Can't you see she's scared? Leave her alone. If I were you, I'd mind my own business. Just who the fuck do you think you are? Your aristocratic background doesn't mean a thing here. You're up to your neck in shit like the rest of us. But when we get to the camp, it'll be a different story. I'll be a copper then, and you'll do what I tell you to, so you better get down off your throne, because you're going to be marked down as a camp whore. You hear what I said? You'll become a camp whore. And slowly but surely, they'll drive you insane, just like all the rest. <laughs> A 
aufstehen. Steh auf. Komm. Find straw and sacking for your beds. And there is to be no talking. Move along. Move along. Remember, no talking. This is a special camp, ladies. You will remain here until the camp commander has decided what other destinations, definite ones, to send you to. Some of you will have the opportunity of working for the Third Reich, but this privilege will be given only to those of you who pass the selection. 
For no reason are you to leave the block you have been assigned to. Any kind of relationship with the guards will be severely punished. Anyone who tries to escape from the lager or organize escape will be immediately shot. The reports of the Promenenten on your behavior will be most important. Tanya Nobel, are you German? I'm Polish. Your family is German? No, Polish. We know you lived for three years with a bandit. With a partisan. With a subversive. A man. A murderer. Bring them along. Rolf! Rolf! Schnell! Schnell! March! Move along! Move along! We haven't got all day. Undress everything. Strip it down, I said. Capo Trudy, take charge. After they're through, send your report to me. Carry on. We still have some unfinished business to attend to, Princess. And being that I am your capo now, and that I belong to the family of the Prominenten, I shall attend to it when and as I choose. Now line up and move out! Move out, I said! Up on your feet, Schnell! You bitches will move when I tell you to move! All right, lie down. Block seven, block six, transport, transport, field horror, transport, transport, block seven, block six, transport. Six, 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 field whore, seven, and her, field whore. Block six, block seven, transport. Moden, first name? Angela. Where were you born? Milano. Milano. Date of birth? 5th of November, 1921. 1921. Profession? Student. Where do you live in Milano? Via Chiaravalle, 26. Have you ever had any infectious diseases? None whatsoever. None. Your parents living? I don't know. Pass on to the gynecologist. He will check you. What is your full name? Monique Dupre. Monique Dupre. Where were you born? Paris. See the gynecologist.
Tanya Noble. Excuse me, Helena. This is the complete list of the girls who arrived last night. I've picked ten of them, which Dr. Schubert has already examined. We're waiting for the results of the medical tests, as well as the Wasserman. The other deportees will leave tonight for the labor camps. The girls chosen for the Joy Division are very beautiful. Your guests should like them very much, Herr Anna. Uh. <clears throat> my dear black leader, there won't be any guests. Because my uh, friends, the generals, have more important, more, uh, more, uh, more necessary, more vital things to think about. Mm. Reading the names of the girls destined to the recruiting center of the field whore, one of the names is circled in red. Why? The deportee Tanya Nobel. She tried to escape during the trip. And according to regulations, even if she is one of the recruits of the field whores, serving the association of the labor spawn, she must be sent to both the hygiene and scientific research divisions. That is, if you agree, Helena. Hmm. <laughs> Tanya, listen to me. We all need help. But by now, we're used to the atrocities that surround us. <laughs> if you want to live, you have to think only of yourself. No one else. For at any moment, anything could happen to any one of us. They could pick anybody next. They do what they want to you in this camp. And there's nothing we can do. Any future there might be, forget it. Herr Enner won't allow it. Herr Enner is your lord and master. The war is lost for the Germans, but in this hellhole, nothing ever changes. They become more beastly. They don't feed us, they screw us and kill us.
In this camp, the disciplinary measures for deportees who violate rules are most impressive. Permanente. Yavol, I await your orders. The deportee number KZ13615 will be punished with seven days solitary confinement. We'll see if that teaches her a lesson. That is all. Hey, I'm Mara. They call me the eater because I'm always eating. <laughs> I'm Monique. And I'm so hungry if someone shakes my hand, I'm liable to eat it. I'll get you food. I get enough from Marlene. Cigarettes I get from Klaus. Who are they? Marlene's a servant in the kitchen. We hoard around together. Klaus is an old pig who works in the supply depot. He loves sodomy. Around here, a person's got to be very smart. Shark eat shark, that's the law around here. Eat. It don't matter how you get it, but eat. That's the main thing. Your body can't do you any good when it hasn't got any food in it. It's the only way that we can stay alive. You understand? Maybe it ain't right, but it's the only chance we've got. No talking! You asleep! You stinking bitch. She's my property. Oh? Fuck you. What are you gonna do about it? I'll show you. Yeah. <coughs> you schwein dog! <coughs> 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 Say, if you're not going to eat your bread, give it to me. Thanks a lot. You're okay, you know. I owe you one, kid. morning they took some of the girls away by truck. I saw Leda there, Ingrid and Ursula, and eight others I didn't know. God only knows where they took them. None of us are going to make it. Those damn couples do it on purpose. First they set you up, then when you break the rules they punish you. Or better yet, they try to get you to act as their spy. And once you've done that, you're finished. It isn't real. Like something out of a nightmare. Something that's terrible. Seems like we're the only human beings that are left. The only sounds we hear are screams. And cry. Prisoners being beaten. 
That's all there is. Who knows how much more any of us can take? But what can we do about it? Nothing. There is a way we can survive this mess. By escaping, that's how. Over the wall. Once you're over that, honey, you're free. That's crazy. It's impossible to escape from here. They tell me once you were an acrobat. Yes, but that was a very long time ago, you see. And I'm out of shape, but why do you ask? I've used sheets to make a rope. You and I could go over that wall easily. Think about it. Frederick, I'm scared. Where are we? There's no need to be scared. We're in the Commandant's private storeroom. No one will come here. Don't worry. city or a pile of ruins. Little children, men, women, all the people, everything, ruins. When the earth shakes, people seek cover but find only death. The great German super race is coming to an end. The war will be over soon. It'll all look different then. We'll start a new life. We'll be together. Carol, it'll never happen that way. I only wish it could. The Commandant is crazy. None of you will survive. What are you saying? The doctors, the physical inspections. What's all that for? So that you'll be healthy when he uses you for his experiments. When he subjects you to his torture, his sadism proves his domination. Here, take this. It's a cyanide. All you have to do is put it between your teeth and bite. And there is a monster. If you have to, Carol, use it so that you won't have to suffer. everyone what a real Aryan is capable of, the young German soldier of the Third Reich. She's your woman, honey. And he's your man, Carol. There's nobody else here. Take her. Don't let that fucker beat you. He'll murder you anyhow, so take her. For all of us, honey. What are you waiting for, Soldier Frederick? That I give the order to shoot? Take me, Frederick. There is no one here but you and me. Nothing can dirty our love. Have no illusions, Carol. You don't know Anna. First to humiliate us. And when he's accomplished that, he will kill us. Frederick, your present. It's in my mouth and waiting.
Don't just lie there. Move. I order you to. Do you hear? Soldier Frederick, really, your conduct is shameful. Tanya Noble, good old destiny has brought you across my path again. You must believe me, at this moment I want to see you happy and laughing, like in those days at Castle Noble. But one day your mother betrayed my trust, betrayed the fatherland. She hid some armed subversives away organizers of resistance on German territory. I was prepared to forgive everything for you, Daniel. But she took you away from me, knowing how much I would have suffered. Oh, yes, how much I suffered. Five years have passed since that day. Five infernal years! And now you owe me. Take me if you want. Torture me, service me. Like what you did to Rada. Like what you'll do to the other Feldhur. No. No. Let's talk of other things, Tanya. Did you love your Ivan? Hmm? How did he take your virginity away? in the forest like the animals, or in that dirty barrack where they killed him. How did, did he do it to you? Hmm? Standing up against a tree, or lying in the ground among the fleas. What was so special about him, that bastard? <laughs> you lurid slut! I will have you hanging from a rope. And I myself will tighten the noose about your neck. Don't be dumb. I've been watching. Capowing is very interested in you. Make her your friend before someone else does. Oh, can I even piss in peace, huh? Tonight, I will expect you. And 
Angela? <laughs> What's the matter? I, I, I cut my shoulder. Stay cool. Grab on with two hands. I'll pull you back up. Outside. Schnell. Raus. Now walk. This, for me, is a special evening. And I wish to dedicate it to you, Tanya, my beauty. It is a gallantry that I permit myself in honor of your noble upbringing, your very presence, aristocratic descendancy. So, Once, you were the victims. Then you were promoted to the position of assassins. That's what the prisoners call you, assassins. You have been given the power to command, to punish, to terrify. Are in this moment nothing more than prostitutes. Like all the other prostitutes in this camp. <coughs> this is for you, Tanya. Look at them. Like dogs lapping at what their master feeds them. <laughs> Look, Tanya, your capos, those who spread terror through the camp, with the words they can kill. I said, look, this show is for you. Look at me. Uh. I said, look! <laughs> look! You have to look! This show is for you! You have to look! You have to look! You have to participate! You can't refuse my spectacle! Doberman! Where were you? Take her back to solitary confinement. Take me, soldier of the Third Reich. Take me. I need to make love. 
I need to make love with a real Aryan soldier before I die. I want you inside of me, a memory to take to my grave. Hold me, darling. Oh, yes, hold me. Yes, give me your body. I want to feel you inside. Take me, my love. Don't let me go. No. Don't stop it. No. 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 You animal. Oh, my little tiny. I will shoot him personally, I swear it. Take courage, my little Edelweiss. Come with me. For some time now, your touch is different, Dover. You don't massage me so deeply like before. I want to feel your fingers more strong, penetrating. Your hands for me are like a language through which you speak to me, Dober. Like a dog who wags his tail at his master. You've always been so faithful and close to me. You have nothing to worry about, Dober. You've never tried to hurt me. Ah, massage my leg. Massage my leg like a good doggy. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Oh, sometimes I think I'll go crazy with the pain. Oh. She's a prostitute, that's all! Dober! And you were nothing but an instrument in her hands. It was me she tried to damage. And she used you, my poor doggy. My poor dope. We will punish her. You and me. She will pay for every caress, every kiss that she gave you. I want her crawling at my feet. Everybody up! Up for inspection! Rouse! Go on, everybody up! Line up for inspection! Schnell! Quickly, line up! You will stand by your beds and maintain absolute silence.
<coughs> Fräulein Greta, this girl needs to be treated in a special way. Jawohl, Frau Helge. The name of your accomplice. Bitch! Now tell me who is she? I don't know. I don't know anything. How did you manage to get out of the block? Who helped you? I want her name. Her name. You knew, didn't you? I knew. Never had a chance. Uh, Tell me. Or I'll stick your head in the toilet until you suffocate. Now, what is her name? Tell me. Tell me. Talk, say it! Say it! Say it! I ever heard you spill into the cup while well, you murdered Angela, now you'll pay. <coughs> What's happening? Nothing. Whatever you think you saw, forget it. Capuelga wouldn't appreciate what you did last night. Or should I say, what we did last night. And we'll do again. You will report she slipped in the tub. According to Dr. Sherbert's report, there are insufficient medicines. We need insulin, iodine, sulfur drugs, opium, and morphine. There is an increase in uterine and ovary atrophy with complete lack of menstrual flow and two cases of malaria. And for three days now, the deputé, Tanya Nobel, has been refusing food and water, Herr Enner. Dr. Sherbert? has found serious circulatory disturbances. She cannot walk, and she has trouble talking due to the lack of saliva. This declaration leaves me no choice. Transportation of the prisoner to definitive camp. Actually, I didn't include her in the list of women for transportation. At present, she's in the infirmary, but she could be all right for field hall. I will talk to Schubert. Dr. Schubert. It's most musical. It sounds rather Jewish. I am Austrian, yeah, I know. Oh. 
<laughs> In fact, there are many Austrian Jews. I am not a Jew. Mm -hmm. No, of course not. You're from the Austrian Legion. Interesting. It is said to be a military corps of account, but of great disorder. You find soft pups everywhere, Herr Enna, even here. <laughs> you certainly don't have much of a sense of humor. I don't see why I must have a sense of humor. <laughs> However, to compensate, you do have a certain capacity for work. You understand how things should be done and how I intend they should be done. You are not dynamic, but in everyday things you could be quite useful. Interesting qualities in a man who serves me. What is her condition? She's completely exhausted. At present, she's on a liquid diet. Nothing solid will stay down. Her physical deterioration is at its, its limit. Ah. I want her completely cured. And that you personally guarantee a perfect return to health. Herr Hitler. Let me die, Doctor. I know there's no hope for me. Why talk about death on such a beautiful day? Outside, the sun is shining and the birds are singing. Can you hear that? The Allies are advancing. Yesterday, we couldn't hear them. And today? Today, you want to die. Won't change anything. We're all going to die. With your obstinate fast, your loss of water is up to 15% of your weight. You ran the risk of damaging your central nervous system. Fortunately, the Commandant intervened. Anna? Yes, exactly. After my report on your physical deterioration, he ordered me to get you back into shape, like before. And I'm supposed to inform him when you're back in perfect health. I should have known it. You start asking for me again. Questioning me. Torturing me. About 500 years ago, the inhabitants of this villa were convinced they'd all die. This castle was built on the ruins of another one, destroyed around the year 1350. It belonged to the von Schulenberg dynasty. In those days, the German leader Wallenstein de Humanik surrounded the castle. He was a cruel man. And the population who had sought refuge in the castle could only imagine the worst of deaths. And one morning, Wallenstein decided to launch his final attack. But when the soldiers burst into the castle, they found no resistance. The Schulenberg inhabitants had disappeared. There's a secret passageway in the cellar that leads to a tunnel. I'll leave the door open. Now there are two of us who know about it.
Tonya Noble. Get up. Come with me. Monique, are you ready? Tanya's across the corridor. What are you going to do with her? You want us to tie her up? No, I don't want to stay here. Please, Monica, please, I want to go with you. I've never made out a report against any of you. I was never a spy. I always helped you. Always. I'm not like the others. Monique, oh, please, take me along with you. I have medicines and food and, and weapons. Inga is going. All right, now listen to me. Whatever happens, we meet at the bottom of the cellar. Bottom of the cellar? I thought you were going over the wall. How are you going to escape in the cellar? A tunnel, my Inga. I only hope Mama Saint is keeping her eye on us. Get a move on. We're losing time. We'll see each other in the tunnel. Good luck. May God be with you. Permanente. 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 What is it? Milena's been rolling around and crying all night. It's bad. I know she's sick, and I thought you could help her. All right. Go on back. I'm getting up. All right, Malena.
Only you knew how much I've suffered at the thought of you being sent to a Bundesbrathel as a field whore, or even worse, under the knife of those murderers right in our own infirmary. God, how I hate them. Yes. But now, you understand, it's all clear. Oh, let me look at you. Come. Come into the light. You're like the answer to the prayer of a pagan. A goddess flying through the universe. Tormenting the sleep of sailors. <sighs> I will take you away with me. By now the war is far away for those of us who have to fight it. I am a very rich man, Tanya. It is in war that great wealth is amassed and we are still a powerful organization. <laughs> oh, Tanya, we will travel the world together, you and I, my darling. Let you escape to Switzerland where I have good friends. And then, later when I join you, I'll take you away with me to South America.
wet lips. I want to drink your saliva. Bite your body. Suck your blood. Breathe your breath. It's all yours, darling. Everything is yours. You can do whatever you'd like. Take me. Oh, yes, Tanya. And then all the gods of Valhalla will consecrate our reunion. Have you forgotten them? You're insane! Yes, I'm mad, I know. <laughs> Is your pain unbearable? It's only a taste of what you've done to others. You dirty pig! Doberman! Doberman! Kill her! What are you waiting for? Kill her! Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you disobey me! Wir drei mit mir! Der Rettungsschutz ausgang! Jawohl, Schaffierer! 